All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. So we're sitting here in the Freedom Studios getting ready to talk about some things that have really chapped my rear end. So if you're interested in hearing about that stuff, yeah, stay put. So anyway, what do we got here on the table? This is a Safari Land belt that I've used in competition for quite some time. But in this case, I've replaced the old hanger with a boss hanger right here, as well as a Red Hill Tactical Dual Layer uh, Kydex holster for the Legion X5. And then also we've got a couple little mag pouches on here <laughs> with some extended mags. I would put the uh, pistol in here, but uh, YouTube would probably have a little conniption fit. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, just went to the range and uh, two hour and 40 minute round trip to find out, well, they're not open today to the, uh, the members because somebody's having a precision long range class. Now, I'm not sure why they have to have the uh, pistol base, but in any case, my dumb ass didn't look at the schedule. And it's my fault and I take full responsibility for it. <laughs> All right, so what are we talking about? There's three different parts of this video that I wanna discuss with you guys. Just a conversation, just you and I talking. Uh, I wanna get a, a feel for what your comments would be based on my uh, commentary on this whole thing. Now, Minnesota right now, Minneapolis, uh, is getting ready to burn. And I was talking to a good friend of mine, Ethan Manning, and he was asking me, uh, what do you think is going to happen with this whole Derek Chauvin thing? And I was like, well, I, I just to be honest with you, I don't think it matters. They're going to burn it down no matter what. Uh, people look for a reason to uh, scream, holler, and fuss and destroy their own neighborhoods. I think some of these people have probably burned their own houses down. Rashida Tlaib and Ileana Omar are not doing anyone any favors by making the comments that they're making. So I'll stop right there. Uh, it seems to me that uh, the Democrats, and I'm not saying all Democrats, I'm saying the, the ones that I'm talking about right now, the anti-gun Democrats, and we're going to get on to talking about constitutional carry and a couple other things, but the anti-gun Democrats, uh, you would think would applaud the police for stopping someone who has an outstanding warrant for a weapons charge, as well as aggravated assault or I think it's burglary or something else like that, but no, uh, and I'm just going to leave it there. Uh, with that being said, let's talk about constitutional carry in the state of Texas. Now, right now, they're on the verge of going ahead and getting that whole thing pushed through, and I'm sure that Greg Abbott hopefully will sign this thing once it gets through the Senate. Now, there are a group of law enforcement officers and groups and training people who are so anti-constitutional carry because their rationale is that, well, you know, if you want to go hunting, you have to take a lesson. If you want to go drive, you have to take a lesson. If you want to go boating, you have to take a lesson. So their biggest concern, these individuals, is that uh, the people who are going to carry do not have the training to carry. Well, I will tell you this right now. I carry. I took a class, yada, 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 but that's a concealed carry. In the state of North Carolina, anyone who can legally own and possess a firearm can open carry in North Carolina. You cannot open carry in the state of Texas because you have to have a permit to carry. Of course, that's according to my brother. God rest his soul. Well, anyway, there's a group of law enforcement officers and agencies uh, that do not, they oppose this whole thing. And let's just talk about this. They're Dallas, Houston, Austin. There's a couple maybe small ones in there. But what's the commonality between all of the big city police chiefs? They're all Democrats. They're all run by Democrats. And for some reason, they fear the normal person carrying a firearm because they feel that that's going to inflict harm on the general public. Now, I would just ask you this. Uh, how is that going to happen? If it, 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 would norm, it would happen anyway, okay? But here's the difference. Uh, somebody who wants to uh, rob your car, what do you call it when they uh, come and carjack you? Well, you, you gotta think, man, maybe that person's got a firearm, or now the likelihood of that person has a firearm is more now than it was yesterday, you're less likely to go and try to carjack this individual. Now, here's the thing, the gun safety people, the gun safety, I said gun safety, we're all about gun safety, right? But the gun control people, their argument is, is that with now the gun violence is so high. Why is the gun violence so high? because of people like Rashida Tlaib and Ilhan Omar spouting off at the mouth and trying to encourage civil disobedience and civil unrest. And it kills me that they're talking about these riots are unrest. The unrest last night is a bullshit. It's a full-on riot. 
Let's just call it what it is, and that's what the main media is scared to do. So with that being said, these individuals, the gun control individuals out there and the organizations in Texas, they're saying, these people, right now the violence is just so high. You know, look at the guy who shut up the church out there. And it's like, well, wait, let me ask you, hold the phone there, young lady. Let's talk about this. If somebody comes in a church and they're going to shoot the place up, they're going to do it whether or not there's a gun law in place or not. But what you're trying to do is take away that individual, my, end of, my right, a Texan's right, the ability to protect his family in case a, a murderer sh shows up. You think for a second, those folks out there in El Paso, when the guy walked into the Walmart, if, if, if eight people were running around with firearms, that that jackass would have been taken out pretty damn quick. At least one person would have jumped up and engaged that individual. Now, I'm not saying everybody out there is ready to carry a firearm, but I'm saying if you are willing to accept the risk, educate yourself, train, and do what you got to do to protect you and your family and your belongings. And that's what they're trying to take away in the guise of safety. It's absolutely disgusting and constitutional carry should be the law of the land, the whole land. Now, what are we gonna talk about next? Jerry Nadler, for the love of God, Jerry, go away. Just go, please go away, Mr. What do you call him, the Penguin Man? For the love of God, here they are, Democrats, the left side, the extreme, they are trying to monster and muscle their way into complete and total power. And this has to be stopped. Now, how is it going to be stopped? Are we going to, are we going to storm the Capitol? Are we going to do this? We're going to do that. Guys, you know what? I'm not trying to encourage anything like that, but I, I'm seeing things that I don't know how we're going to get around something like that down the road if these individuals do what they're going to say. They're wanting to put four more seats on the Supreme Court. And in that, all they're doing is it's a power play. It's a power grab. <sighs> don't kid. Through the power of reconciliation, they can go ahead and pass this so-called infrastructure budget that they're wanting to do with all the other BS that's involved in it. It's absolutely disgusting. But Jerry Nadler, this idea that you have a stacking the courts has been tried before, and it failed. And the idea that, oh, if you think Biden's your buddy, even if you're a Democrat and you're pro-gun and you told me in videos before that Biden's not going to take your guns. Biden's not going to do this. Biden's not going to do that. Guys, look around and tell me now Biden is not going to take your guns or he's not going to try. What's he going to do? Take your uh, bump stocks? Well, no, that was Donald Trump. But what he sure as shit can do is he's going to take your arm braces. I don't know what's going to happen at that. It's going to be interesting to see. But what I can't stand, ladies and gentlemen, is watching our country go down the toilet because people like Rashida Tlaib, Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, they are selling us out. There's no reaching across the aisle with that guy. There's no bringing the country together. It is a power grab, and they are grabbing it as fast as they possibly can. These are the things that I think about on a day-to-day -day basis, hourly basis and it drives me nuts. We're being torn apart by the mainstream media. They don't want to call a riot a riot. They don't want to call an apple an apple, an orange an orange. They don't want to call bad people bad people because they're scared to, oh, I don't know, upset somebody. My rights don't end where your feelings begin. And if I offend you, I apologize up front. And you know what? Let's fist bump and move on together because commonality is the general rule on how we're going to get out of this whole thing because that jackass knows nothing about what he's doing. He's being told and Susan Rice is his boss. <laughs> anyway, I'm done rambling on guys. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below. There's three things, stacking the court, constitutional carry. One is good, one is bad. And I just say, Guys, I teach my children to be good to all people. I don't care what color anyone is. Everyone is equal in my eye. No one gets special preference or treatment. Let me know down below if you disagree. It's Code of Boy 32. We always end them like this, guys. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. This is, in, this is not scripted. I pull this stuff directly out of my ass. Pops Quest, 
I'm going to try putting the uh, cover over top of the other side of the dot versus this side. Can't see the damn thing. How am I supposed to shoot like that? Anyway, with that being said, God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free because we're going to need those men and women in uniform to protect we the people from this government that seems to think that they are in charge of our everyday lives. From wearing a mask to taking our guns and telling us what we can and cannot do, when and how. Where have we gone? I'm KB32. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Don't forget to like and subscribe.